again, this is Serge Ray, and for today's topic, I am going to discuss to you about geometric means. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to find the geometric means between two terms of a given geometric sequence. Okay, so geometric means are the terms between any two given terms of a geometric sequence. So yung nasa gitna ng first term at saka last term, yun yung ating geometric means. Just like uh, the just like in our previous lesson about arithmetic means. Okay, so ito yung ating formula na ifa-follow para mahanap yung ating geometric means. A sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So a sub n is the term to be found. A sub 1 is the first term, n is the number of terms, r is the common ratio. Okay? And you should memorize this formula. Okay, so let's have example number 1. Find the geometric mean between 10 and 40. Okay, dito class, as you observe, mayroon lang tayong tatlong terms. Yung first term natin is yung 10. At yung last term is 40. So, isa lang ang geometric mean na ating hahanapin. So, mayroon tayong dalawang methods dito kung paano natin mahanap ang geometric mean. Pero, I will suggest na ang gagamitin lang natin dito ay itong first method. Itong first method lang ang ating gagamitin kasi mas madali at mas mapapabilis tayo. Tingnan ninyo. So, yung ating first term ay 10. Then, yung ating geometric mean, yun yung ating hinahanap. Tapos, ang last term ay 40. So, simply, i-multiply lang natin ang 10 at ang 40 para mahanap ang ating a sub 2 or the geometric mean. Okay, naintindihan? So, 10 times 40 is equal to 400. Then, get the square root of 400. That is equal to 20. So, therefore, yung ating geometric mean ay 20 now. Using the formula, so gamitin natin yung formula, yung first term 10, yung uh, third term ay 40. Using the formula to find the value of r, hanapin muna yung value ni r. So a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Substitute all the given values. Yung a sub n, papalitan ng 40. Yung a sub 1, papalitan ng 10. At yung n, papalitan ng 3. Simplify it further. So we have... 40 equals 10 raised to uh, 10 times r raised to 2 or r squared. Divide both sides by 10. So we have r squared equals 4. Get the square root of both sides. So square root of r squared equals square root of 4. That is equal to 2. So yung ating r ay 2 or yung, yung ating common ratio. I-multiply natin yung 2 dito sa 10. Okay, so multiply lang natin yan. That is equal to 20. Diba? I-multiply lang natin yung 2 dito sa ating 10. Sa ating first term. Para makuha yung ating uh, geometric mean. So as you can see, we have the same answer. Pero mas madaling gamitin itong first method. Okay? Next example. Find the geometric mean between 7 and 63. Okay, so 7 and 63. Ayan, kung makikita ninyo class, uh, 7 and 63. So tatlo lang, din, tatlo lang din yung ating terms dito sa ating geometric sequence. Yung first term ay 7, yung last term ay 63. So isang geometric mean lang. So therefore, gamitin pa rin natin yung ating pinakaunang method. 7 times 63 is 441. Get the square root of 441. That is equal to 21. So, A sub 2 is equal to 21, which is our geometric mean. Now, using the formula to find R or the common ratio, substitute all the given values. So, yung A sub N, papalitan mo ng 63. Yung A sub 1, papalitan mo ng 7. Tapos, yung N, papalitan mo ng 3. Kasi, mayroon lang tayong tatlong terms dito. Simplify it further, so we have 63 equals 7 times r squared. 3 minus 1 is 2. Okay, so kaya yan naging r squared. 
And then divide both sides by 7. So we have r squared equals 9. Then get the square root of both sides. Square root of r squared equals square root of 9. So square root of r squared is r equals the square root of 9 which is 3. So r is equal to 3. I-multiply mo lang si 3 doon sa 7. So, 7 times 3 is 21, which is our a sub 2. So, therefore, yung amin natin dito is 21, yung ating geometric mean. So, see, we have the same answer, pero mas madali itong first method natin. Kapag ganyan ang given, kapag isa lang ang geometric mean na hinahanap. Okay, so we have find the three geometric means between 32 and 1 over 8. So yung first term natin dito ay 32 at yung last term ay 1 over 8. So how many terms do we have here? We have five terms in all. Ngayon, ilan ang geometric means na ating hinahanap? More than one na. So therefore, hindi na natin ma-apply yung first method na ginawa natin sa, num sa example 1 and 2. So dito class, Use the formula na to find R. And then, pag meron ka ng value ni R, mahanap mo na yung ating nawawalang geometric means. Okay, so A sub 1 is 32, A sub 5 is 1 over 8. Using the formula to find the value of R, so substitute all the given values, yung A sub N, papalitan mo siya ng 1 over 8, equals yung A sub 1, papalitan natin ng 32, times r raised to 5 minus 1, yung n, papalitan ng 5. Simplify it further, so we have 1 over 8 equals 32 times r raised to 4. Divide both sides by 32. Ayan. And we have r raised to 4, yun na lang yung matitira ha, r raised to 4 equals 1 over 8 divided by 32. So get the reciprocal of 32. Kasi siya yung denominator natin, siya yung nasa baba. Kunin mo ang reciprocal niyan. So that is 1 over 32. Then multiply. 1 times 1, 8 times 32. So that is equal to 1 over 256. And get the fourth root. Get the fourth root of both sides. Fourth root of both sides. Kailangan matanggal yung radical sign dyan. So, Fourth root of r raised to 4 is r. And then fourth root of 1, 1. Fourth root of 256 is 4. So therefore, r is equal to 1 fourth. Now, may value ka na ngayon ni r. So, i-multiply mo na lang si r dito sa ating uh, 32 para mahanap yung pangalawang term. So, 32 times 1 fourth is 8. Then, 8 times 1 fourth is 2. Okay? Then, 2 times 1 fourth is 1 half. Therefore, yung ating geometric means are 8, 2, and 1 half. Okay, so let's have another example here. Insert 5 geometric means between negative 12 and negative 3 over 16. So, okay, uh, it is not 32, it's negative 12. Ha? Negative 12 yan class. Negative 12. So, negative 12 and a negative 30, a 3 over 16. It's not negative 32. It is negative 12. Hahanapin natin yung limang geometric means na nawawala. So, a sub 1 is negative 12 at yung ating a sub 5. No, hindi siya a sub 5 plus ha. Hindi yan a sub 5, sorry. So, that is a sub 7. It should be a sub 7. So using the formula to find the value of r, substitute. So yung a sub n, papalitan natin ng negative 3 over 16 equals negative 12 over, ay negative 12 times r raised to 7 minus 1. 7 ito ha, 7. a sub 7, hindi ito a sub 5. a sub 7. Isulat ko nga. Ito ay a sub 7. A sub 7 yan, ha? Okay? 
at ito ay hindi 32. It should be negative 12. Okay, negative 12 yan. Ayan, so na-substitute na natin. So, simplify. Negative 3 over 16 equals negative 12 times R raised to 6. Kasi 7 minus 1 is 6. Divide both sides by negative 12. Ayan, divide both sides by negative 12. So, cancel na yon. So, ang matitira na lang doon is R raised to 6 equals negative 3 over 16 times negative 1 over 12. Get the reciprocal of negative 12. So, negative 1 over 12 or negative or 1 over negative 12. Pareha lang yan. Next is, i-multiply na natin. Negative 3 times negative 1 times, uh, negative 3 times negative 1 and 16 times 12. So, that is equal to 3 over 192. Magiging positive na yan ha, kasi pareho yung uh, sign, na at, pareho yung sign ng numbers na ating multiply. So, automatic, magiging positive ang ating answer dyan. So, 3 over 192, then get the lowest term that is 1 over 64. Simplify it further. Get the sixth root of both sides. Sixth root of both sides. So the sixth root of R raised to 6 is R. And the sixth root of 1 is 1. The sixth root of 64 is 2. So therefore, R is equal to 1 half. Then i-multiply lang natin yung 1 half sa negative 12. So that is negative 6. The negative 6 times 1 half, negative 3. Negative 3 times 1 half, negative 3 over 2. Negative 3 over 2 times 1 half is negative 3 fourths. So therefore, yung ating uh, geometric means dito meron pa, negative 3 fourths times 1 half is negative 3 eighths. Okay, so therefore, yung ating limang geometric means na nawawala are negative 6, negative 3, negative 3 halves negative 3 fourths, and negative 3 eighths. So, yan yung ating geometric means na hinahanap dito sa example na to. Okay, so if the third term of the geometric sequence is 9, and the sixth term is negative 243, write the first six terms of the sequence. Okay, so 9, the negative 243, yung ating... 9 yung ating third term at yung sixth yung ika sixth na term natin ay negative 243. So therefore class, iya as if natin si 9 yung ating first term. Tapos si negative 243 siya yung last term natin. So from 9 since siya yung ating uh, gagawing first term, ilang terms lang muna lahat meron tayo. Apat, di ba? So itong dalawang geometric means between 9 and negative 243, ito muna yung ating hahanapin. So, a sub 3 is 9, a sub 6 is negative 243. So, find the r, ayan ha. Negative 243, yung a sub n equals 9. Bakit naging 9, a sub 3 siya? i as if muna natin na si 9 yung ating first term. Okay? Gawin muna natin si 9 yung ating first term. Then, ilan lahat yung terms natin from 9 to negative 200, 243? Mayroon lang tayong apat. So, therefore, yung value ni n ay 4. So, simplify it further, we have negative 243 equals 9 times r raised to 3. Okay, raised to 3 yan. Then, divide both sides by 9. Divide both sides by 9. So, that is equal to r cubed equals negative 27. Then, get, okay, get the cube root of both sides. Cube root of both sides. So, cube root of r cube equals cube root of uh, 27. It should be negative 27, ha? So, r is equal to negative 3. Negative 27 yan plus. Negative 27. So, cube, uh, the cube root, cube root of r cube is r. Then, the cube root of negative 27 is negative 3. So, mayroon na tayong value class ni negative 3. So, i-multiply na lang natin si negative 3 dito kay 9 para makuha yung kanyang next term. Right? Okay, so therefore, that is equal to a negative 9 times 
negative 3 is negative 27. Negative 27 times negative 3 is positive 81. Ayan. And then si 9, i-divide natin siya kay negative 3 para mahanap yung bago yung 9. Bago yung ikatlong term natin. So 9 divided by negative 3 is negative 3. And negative 3 divided by negative 3 is positive 1. So yan ngayon yung mga nawawalang terms dito sa ating geometric sequence. 1, negative 3, 9, negative 27, and 81. I hope class na nag-gets ninyo yung ating lesson. Okay? Any question class dito sa ating lesson? Okay, if none, you memorize this formula dahil magagamit natin ang formula na ito dito sa ating lesson about geometric sequence. a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Ito yung formula na ating gagamitin para mahanap yung mga nawawalang terms, pati yung ating r para mahanap natin ang mga geometric means. Para mahanap natin ang ating mga geometric means. Okay? So, I hope na gets ninyo class yung ating uh, lesson. So, thank you for listening. Kita-kits ulit sa ating next video lesson.